What's up guys, it's me and I'm coming to you from a place that they call the Dirty Dirty. So for those of you who don't know, it's the beautiful state of Georgia and some wonderful people down here. I mean, seriously, the whole southern hospitality thing, it really is true. Like really, really good people down here. So having some fun, reshaping the nation, doing my thing, you know, and um, it's just been awesome. So uh, about to hit the road again here in the next couple days. And where I go, nobody knows. But, uh, but rest assured, stay tuned, and I'll be coming to you from a, a new location next time. Anyway, uh, a lot of questions have been coming in, so thank you so much. Keep writing in, reshapethenation at gmail.com, and um, I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. Thank you for your patience. I know I've been slammed. I've been so busy running around the nation and uh, just helping people out. So um, thank you for your patience. and. Um, you know, hopefully in the future I'll, I'll be able to to spend this, a little bit more time with the blogs and answering questions and whatnot. But in the meantime, we just do the very best that we can. So, but I got to tell you, this it's going to be amazing the the show that we're putting together. So you all have to tune in to ABC. It's going to be next year, either February or or, or March of next year, and uh, so you can watch our show. And it's it's going to be uh, uh, just a powerful, powerful journey through transformation and everything that happens from the physical to the emotional to the psychological aspects of it. So I'm just, I'm really excited for for you to see everything that, that, that we've been going through and especially what these eight just beautiful, beautiful individuals are, are going through when it comes to their transformation and it will, it will move, touch and inspire you. So it's going to be amazing, and I'm, I'm so excited just to be a part of this whole thing. Um, okay, so let's get down to some questions, and this is a question that I actually get a lot. Um, and I wish there was a, a very specific answer to it, but you know what? I'm going to teach you how I troubleshoot this kind of question, and so um, hopefully I'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot your own issues with this, and so you can kind of uh, start to do some, some soul searching as to what's going on in your regimen so that perhaps um, you can start to find some solutions to it. So here's the question. Um, hey Chris, I get about five to six hours of sleep every night. I like to work out in the morning, but after my workout, I feel sleepy and tired. Why is this? I thought after exercise, you're supposed to be energized. Well, you're you're right. After exercise, most people do feel energized. Um, you know, and and it really this is such a relative question because I got to tell you. After some of my workouts, I don't feel energized. I'm exhausted. So it really it depends on the intensity of the exercise. But really, shortly after, you know, between 30 minutes to an hour after your bout of exercise, you should feel good. You should have um, an increased oxygen uptake in your body. So you're getting more oxygen to your brain. The blood's pumping. You should, you should feel a spike in your energy levels. So there could be several different things um, and reasons as to why you're not feeling that and why you're still feeling lethargic and tired. So let's troubleshoot this for you. Um, now, one of the first things I look at is, okay, five to six hours of sleep. That's actually on the short side of sleep. You know, most humans, and, and even if you talk to, to most folks in, in, the, in medical fields, they'll say, okay, maybe between six and eight hours. If you talk to most of the people in the fitness industry, sports physiologists and whatnot and sports medicine doctors now they're going to lean more toward the eight hours and especially the more you train the more sleep you need and so the 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 longer the duration that you're actually working out every day your body simply requires more and more sleep and and especially those of you out there who who train heavy on a regular basis you know this for a fact say say you actually put in a, a, a hard training day sure enough you are tired the next day if you don't get at least eight, nine, ten hours of sleep, you definitely feel lethargic. You definitely feel sleepy and tired the next day because your body needs it needs sleep. Because remember, during sleep, that's when your your, your body releases growth hormone. The pituitary gland releases growth hormone hormone in the very first sleep cycle. It's it's as the body uh, when we go to sleep. We go through these different stages of sleep, and in that first sleep cycle, it's usually about 90 minutes into sleep, you start diving through those stages of sleep, and then the pituitary goes through this, these pulses of growth hormone release. Your body releases more growth hormone in that first sleep, sleep cycle than any other time during the day. 
during high intensity exercise, your body can release, start releasing growth hormone 45 minutes in. However, it's nothing compared to that bottom of the sleep cycle about 90 minutes in to falling asleep. However, still your body's going to release growth hormone through the night. Um, if you're not getting enough sleep, you're not getting that growth hormone release. So I'm going to address this for a couple different reasons. Um, so during the sleep, obviously your body's releasing, releasing growth hormone. And what does growth hormone do? Well, the growth hormone, it's not, a lot, a lot of people, they, they, they think it's an anabolic steroid. No, it's not an anabolic steroid. It is an anabolic hormone, but it doesn't actually increase the size of a muscle cell. What it does is it actually increases the rate at which that muscle cell turns itself over. It increases, it increases the rate at which our cells turn themselves over and replenish and repair. And so when we train a lot, we break our bodies down. So we need that growth hormone at night so that we can repair and we can actually be, be ready for training um, the next day, the next two days. So sleep is so, so important, and the harder you train, the more you need to sleep because you need that growth hormone release. If you look at some really hardcore athletes, I remember um, you know, looking at some football players that are training really, really hard. They're sleeping 12 to 14 hours a day. It's because they've got all this muscle mass. They're training hard. They're breaking that muscle mass down. They need that sleep. They need that growth hormone release just in order to repair the muscle so that they can, they can, they can work at their peak performance. 